Hey, welcome back. My name is Sushant Sutish and I'm your trainer for Azure Administrator Associate Examination AZ-104. We are at the module 3. We are learning different concepts within Azure Administration. In this video, we're going to learn about Azure Portal and Cloud Shell. So let's have a look at the high level topics we are going to learn in this particular video. We will start with Azure Portal and what is Azure Mobile App? Demonstration around Azure Portal and Azure Cloud Shell and how you can use this to manage your workloads within Azure. So without wasting any more time, let's get into it. Azure Portal lets you build, manage and monitor everything from simple web apps to complex cloud application in a single unified console. You might have seen Azure Portal many times. Let me take you through and give you a walkthrough on the Azure portal. So I am on my Azure portal now. In this portal, you can search for resources and services and documentation, etc. using this global search box. When you sign in, you can, you can see who you signed in with, what sort of an access you got, and you can sign in with multiple accounts as well. And this gives you an ability to switch directory. So if you happen to have access to multiple directory, you can sign in and switch between directories. You can always give feedback to Microsoft related to what you are experiencing. This can be accessible from any portal where you are at. If you would like to raise any support ticket with Microsoft, click on help and support it takes you to the place where you can raise a support ticket. The settings menu give you a lot of options like configuring your general settings, changing your default look of your portal. Uh, do you like to have a fly out or do you like to have a docked menu? I prefer the dock one. And what sort of a theme do you like? I'm a big fan of dark theme, but I get that sometimes when I'm explaining things, it's very difficult for you to like pinpoint and understand what I mean by that. So I change it to little gray theme or I try to keep it one side dark and another side bright. Uh, then you have an option to change the contrast themes as well. I like to keep it none. Uh, if you want to enable your pop-up notification, you can do that as well over here. When you deploy or any sort of activity happening within Azure, all the notification will come up over this screen. Then you have the switch directory icon over here to switch between these directories. And you can access the cloud shell over here, which will come back later. Right now, you are viewing my dashboard. Within the dashboard area, you have an ability to download and upload a new dashboard. You can make it as a blank dashboard. You can make it a full screen. You can click escape to come back to the regular mode. You get an option to edit. Uh, in this edit mode, you can resize your existing view. You can change and move things around and uh, you can decide how you would like to see your dashboard like. I'm going to quickly change a few items over here to show you what are the possibilities. If you want, you can add more stuff. Uh, anytime when you add more and more stuffs get added to your dashboard. So I will let you play out your imagination when you are going and modifying this. Go nuts. And click on done. And now when I say done customizing, you can see that I have a new dashboard. Once I have the new dashboard, before I work on it, I can click on clone and then I can get a default view of what I have done before and name your new dashboard and do my further customization as well. So that's about the dashboard. On the left hand side, on the dock area, this is where you can see all the highlighted services. As you can see that I have resource group, storage account, virtual machine, etc. Let's suppose if I want to have a virtual network available, I can go to the global search box. I can type in virtual network and select virtual network and work on it. But if I want to keep it on the left hand side, I can go to all services and type in virtual network. When you highlight virtual network, you get this star icon or a highlight option. So I can click on this highlight. Immediately that's put that option on the dock window. So now since I have it on the dock, I can move it around. So if virtual network is something which I'm going to constantly work on and I have to have an easy access to that, I can place it on the left hand side. 
So now I have virtual network on the left hand side. So you get the idea, right? There are plenty of things you can do it. Don't worry about it. The more you work on it, you get more familiarized with the portal. The next one is Azure Mobile App. Unfortunately, I can't demonstrate the Azure Mobile App, but you can go and download it from your favorite App Store or a Google Play Store and install the Azure Mobile App. When you install it, you can stay connected to the cloud and check status and critical metrics anytime and anywhere. With the Azure Mobile App, you don't need to be in front of your computer to keep an eye on your Azure resources such as VMs and web apps. You can stay connected no matter where you are from your iOS or Android mobile device. You can check for alerts, view metrics, and take corrective actions to fix common issues and restart a web app or connect to a VM directly and be agile and respond to issues faster with the Azure mobile app. And finally, you can run commands to manage your Azure resources as well. So you want to use a command line? Run an ad hoc Azure CLI or PowerShell commands from your Azure mobile app and stay in control of your resources and take corrective actions like starting and stopping VMs and web pages, etc. Even though we touched upon Azure Cloud Shell, let's learn a bit more about that. Azure Cloud Shell is an interactive browser accessible shell for managing Azure resources. So let me show you where you can find that. I'm now on my Azure portal. Right on top of the ribbon, you can see the Cloud Shell over here. So the Cloud Shell provides the flexibility of choosing the shell experience that best suits the way you work. Linux users can opt for Bash experience, while Windows users can opt for PowerShell. And this Cloud Shell enables access to a browser-based command line experience built with Azure management task in mind. So let's talk about some of the Cloud Shell features. Cloud Shell offers an integrated graphical text editor based and open source Monaco editor. It authenticates automatically for instant access to your resources and runs on a temporary hosted provider on a per session per user basis. And Cloud Shell times out after 20 minutes without interactive activity. And Cloud Shell requires a resource group, storage account, and Azure file share. And Cloud Shell is assigned one machine per user account. And Cloud Shell permissions are set as a regular Linux user in Bash. So now that we have come to the end of this particular lesson, we have learned about Azure portal and different ways you can manage and customize Azure portal for your need. And then we learned about Azure Cloud Shell as well. And we touched upon Azure mobile app as well. Again, we are still on module three. That means that we are learning about Azure administration. In the next lesson or the next video, I'm going to take you through Azure PowerShell and CLI. So I will see you in the next one. Till then, take care. Thank you.